Here we are, the Lego Architecture Sydney Opera House. It is set 21012. As you can see, it's very beautiful and very architectural and sleek in its design. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, as you see on the back, we have a biography of the author. Of not the creator of the building, the actual building, not the Lego set. Can't really see his name. A uh, picture of the actual building and the Sydney Opera House Lego. A bit of inf info. And yeah, that's about it with Vance. Okay, let me just. You know, sides and such. Yeah, I think it's good. And let's unbox it. Okay, so you've seen the box. Now we're going to open it up and check out what's inside. So this is what we got. bags, of course. A little advertisement for one of the sets. More Legos, and then the book that gives you the instructions. And the cool thing about the architecture books is that they don't just give you instructions they give you education on the pieces so like this here it says so going to the upper house is the succession of visual and audio stimuli increase in intensity as you enter and finally sit down in the halls accumulating in with the performance so you get those educational bits you get um, to get a little bit about the guy who made it, and then in the front, I think, yeah, we get a little more, a bit more information.
Okay, so I will give it a rating now with three different things. Playability, how it looks, build pleasure, and this is how it looks to what I'm meaning it to be built as. For playability, I'm going to give it a three because you can't really play with it, but I'm also putting this under collectability because it would have just been too unfair and it would have had a zero. So collectability, it gets a three because... It's a collector's item. Uh, build pleasure, I'll give it a three. Because it was actually kind of annoying to build. It wasn't fun. I got lost a lot. It wasn't, it wasn't the best. Look, I'll give it a four. It looks pretty awesome. I mean, all those things. But it's not the best looking. It's kind of small. And then uh, how it looks toward the Sydney Opera House, or what it is, an example of what this would be in another thing would be a police station set would look like a police station and would get a 5. But this one, I'll give it a 4.5 because it looks like the thing, but it's Lego and it's kind of small, so it's not perfect. So in all in all, it gets a 14.5 out of 20, which is pretty poor, it's about a 70%. So. Unless you're collecting all the architectures like me, you probably don't want to actually get it. It's not fun. So, but not like you shouldn't get Lego. Get Lego. Go out and get Lego right now. Do it. Or no. <laughs> okay. You going? Got one? Cool. Build it now. Or do a review like me.